Hello everyone, Carbivolt here, and welcome back to Shovel Knight, the adventures of Butt Butt. On the last episode, we took out Polar Butt here on the stranded ship. Yeah, we, uh, and, uh, that's all we actually did. There's this guy here on the map. Let's go say hello. And it became night. What a terrible night to have a curse. What butt is this? Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today, on the field of battle. We have both defeated many butts and traveled far. Today, we fight. Stand aside! You and I have no reason to battle! Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave butt. Today, you'll be tested. Are you ready? And so this is the last of the wandering travelers we have to fight. In the land. I don't actually know what this dude's name is. All I know is that he he has lightning. And I forget if he's difficult or not. The Baz, the the whiny warrior from uh, a long time ago, I thought was a lot harder. But this guy might give me a run for my money since it's been a while since I fought him. So if I can just stay up there, everything's good. Thanks for letting me do that. I guess that wasn't that hard. Just pogo him and don't care about that you are taking a lot of damage. Probably not a safe strategy, but it worked. Ha! Huh, I've invested. But barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, butt butt. And now I think about it, I could have read his name. Oops. Okay, well... Thanks for playing! Before we go on to our next order of no quarter stage, I want to see what's over here. Shortcut? Question mark. Catapult! I may have shown this off already, but this will take you back to the first village. And if you, if you take this catapult, it'll take you to the second village. And I obviously have shown it off already because you got that. Anywho's! Let's see if there's any new armor we can get before we head out. Hello. And uh, let's take this. So the uh, crimson armor, as I like to call it. Look at our gear. The mail of momentum. Heavily plated, keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. So it's kind of a very it's a it doesn't cause knockback, which is nice. But um, if you don't know how to stop on a dime, you're if you don't like, if you are not a fan of slippery controls, you will probably not like this. Anywho's, we are here now in the mechanical mechanism that is Tinkerbutt stage, and I can't make a simple jump. Tinkerbutt stage is actually one of my is actually a stage I really enjoy, and hi rats. We got rats all the time. Now we got mechanical rats. First there was just flying rats, then there's exploding rats, now there's mechanical rats. It's like, how many radical rats do we need before we are satisfied? But Tinkerbutt, I think, actually is a pretty cool stage. Yeah, I really like the clockwork idea. It reminds me a lot of uh, Castlevania for some reason. Even though I haven't really actually played a lot many Castlevania games. Ah! Hi! Uh, go away, please. Thank you. And we have new mage characters. We have the uh, time mages. Who apparently can't use their magic to stop time to prevent them from dying. That's too bad. Gonna be greedy. Okay, I almost thought I didn't make that jump. That would have been silly. Terrible, but silly. Oh, hi. Just wait, just you pass on by. You have a nice day. I'm gonna take the spoils up here, and everything will be fine. Hopefully. Alright, what's in this chest? If I can jump on this properly. Gosh. I give- I scare myself sometimes with, how, with what I do here. That's why I took up the phase locket, just to be safe! 
So did you know this game has like over 300 different codes? I know I mentioned like something about it early, early on in the ser- Holy crap, that's dangerous. Oh my gosh, butt butt. Butt butt. Butt butt. Okay. Yay. Okay, I thought you were gonna fall off there, man. That that scared me. Oh, okay. Yeah, anyway, like, there's like 300 different codes. Obviously, I'm currently using one of them, if you haven't figured that out by now. <laughs> but there's some other ones for like challenge modes, um, one that makes uh, Butt Butt slash Shovel Knight really freaking huge. Really silly stuff, but it's kind of cool that they have so many of those cool things in this game. Like, they planned on doing that kind of stuff. Really nice touch, that. Hey, go away. Don't like those bunny, bra bra rabid bunny ghosts. There's our first checkpoint. Jeez. And I have, I regret choosing this mail. I really do, because like, okay, it, it's Mario physics. You ready? So if I'm just ch charging along, oh. Okay. Well, now you're stopping when I want you to, but earlier you weren't. I will take that. Thank you. I like these guys. These guys have a cool design. That's so like, at this point, after we've done pretty much everything that annoys me about the game, so I, I realize editing the, those first two episodes, I'm a little negative, and I don't mean to be. It's just stuff that I don't really find that interesting in general. It doesn't matter if you are this game or another game. I just don't. But now we are at parts where everything is awesome. So we can just, except for these mechanical evil drill things. I don't know what they are. And I don't know what they want with me. Well, they probably want me dead, and that's, uh, that's fair. I am invading in their territory, I'm assuming, anyway. But I'll take another music sheet. I believe I shouldn't have done that. I believe I shouldn't have done that. That is a terrible thing. Wow, we don't have that many checkpoints on this stage. I'll meet you guys back there. Hello! We're back! I mean, it wasn't that far, to be fair, but still. <laughs> yeah, this this momentum mail was not a good choice. I have no idea why I decided this is a good idea. I'm just going to... Oh, wait, can I just go up here? I can just go up here. What am I doing? Oh, but Mechanical Rat butt is up here. But it's okay. I have the face locket on me. To be cheap, because that's what it does. It is, is, the, is the cheap. So are these for take dealing with the night dudes. But like the background, the stage is really cool. Uh, like the color palette's decent, and I believe we're actually getting our next uh, relic up here. I say with bated breath, as I am not very cautious here. Just calm down. I like the um, the conveyor belt, so that's kind of a cool mechanic. And yeah, this is our next relic. Hello! What's up, Chester? In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I've just found in this chest. Want to see? Why, sure, we have the mobile gear. Ride across hazards and reach higher places. This is an interesting relic. I don't think it is that useful in the long run. I have found some uses for it in other uh, playthroughs I've done in this game, but it's kind of a... it's... I don't know. I don't feel it's as useful as it could have been. Because you ride it, and then you just... it jumps automatically for you, which is nice. I had a fear that I had to jump on my own, but uh, it jumps automatically for you, and you can just ride it through stuff. I can be like, hey, go away. And, um... That didn't work out too well. So yeah, it's kind of limited use, I'd say. But it's a cool idea. I do like its inclusion. Uh, I want to get down here. Go away, Drills. Go away. I don't want to deal with you right now. I want to deal with the elevator over there. That is what I want to deal with, but not you Drills. You Drills are crazy and are spiraling out of control. Hopefully not to the heavens, because that would be bad. I don't want you guys up there. Okay. Uh, I'm just not being very good with my timing. Here. Whew. And 
I don't care. We're not gonna get that. Let's get a checkpoint. New mechanic for the stage, and this stage alone, these cool uh, barber, barber shop platforms. And canes. Very, not sure, blue and yellow. Not sure what flavor that would be, but uh, could be a candy cane flavor. And I almost killed myself there. That would have been bad. At least they're up at checkpoint. But yeah, mobile gear you can use right here. And, uh, get over there. There are technically three music sheets in the stage, so keep that in mind when looking for music sheets, even though I haven't gotten all of them in other stages. But there are three in this one, I know that. Well, bloody butts. That's actually pretty disturbing. Be right back. Okay, I grabbed the gold up there. Um, yeah, this momentum mail was not a good idea. I think that's what killed me. But it's okay, we're halfway through the stage. We can do this. We can go through more... Uh, okay, that's bad, because that's gonna crush me. Okay. Rabid, rabbit, ghost thing, please go away. Rat, bot, go away, please, too. Thank you. You are all being very cooperative today, and I'm very appreciative of it. You, I have, I have brought out, I have uh, dusted off the gloves for you. Literally, because they're called dust gloves. <laughs> yep. Bye. You can, you can stay there. If you want to ride and not cause me any problems, then you're, uh, you're fine. You're, I see you coming over here, though. I don't appreciate that. Yeah, you two, just have fun down there. I just, no. No thanks. I'm gonna go to my checkpoint over here. Hello, Time Mages. How are you? I wanted to jump there. Momentum mail. Momentum fail. Oh, here we go. Hee <laughs> hee. Music in the stage is also really good. I just really, really like the stage. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, there are some things to it that isn't probably the most appealing. Like, it is just like this kind of dark-like stage, this dark castle stage of solitude. Tinkerbutt must be this most, like, imposing dude that must be, like, one of the most dangerous members of the Order of No Quarter, since he has such a ominous base like this. Let's go fishing. Let's see, what we got? And... Fish... Comes the fish. Hooray! I almost died! Momentum mail! Shakes fists. We'll be taking this off for the next stage, that is for sure. This has been re What? Was that their fourth music sheet? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's only the third. Uh, maybe I'm going crazy. Technically, I've always been going crazy, so it's not like it's anything new. Yeah, you can go away. You can go away. What was that? Everyone, anyone ever watched Space Ghost? I mean, it was made more popular by Adult Swim Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but you know, they had that one guy that was like the engineer of the show, and he would show up sometimes. That's what those guys remind me of, those uh, blacksmith-like dudes. Also, this is definitely very Castlevania-y. At least Castlevania 3, I remember that, the clock tower stage. From a game I technically have never played, I've just seen people play it. So yeah, that actually, that's actually kind of fitting, that would be castlevania E because this is indeed a clock tower stage. That is what we are playing right now. Okay. Phew! Okay. Um... Yeah, you just gotta... If, if you... If, if the bottom of the screen gets you, you're dead. So just keep that in mind as you're going, and you should be fine. And you'll get to here, which has your usual chicken in the wall, and then you have to go and break this. Oh. I guess not break it, just kind of lower the drawbridge. And you know what, Tinkerbutt, I have so much confidence in. I'm gonna do that. That was probably a bad idea, but we'll find out! I mean, Tinkerbutt has to be like this most... Oh. Ah! 
Did it make it through that noise? I can't, I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friends. Oh, big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. Boop. So, um, Tinkerbutt is, uh... Not gonna lie, he's the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> he is a silly little dude. Who, any hits you get on him will always do one... F oh, no, they won't. Never mind. He, the major attack to watch out for is when he panics like that. Otherwise, he's just gonna throw his wrench at you. And he's dead. So, that was easy. That was Tinkerbutt stage, and... Oh. Well, he is a tinkerer, after all. So, he built a giant machine thing. That said, this is also kind of easy. Just... Aim for the head. Let's get into a little quick pattern of bouncing off him. Game back on the shoulder, because those missiles are going to come out. But yeah, see? Look at how much health he's down already. When he charges, just kind of try to stay on him as much as possible. Wait to hit for him to get back over here before you get back to doing the pattern of just jumping on his head. If you do fall off those balls that he has coming down, you can bounce off them to get back up here. And you can also ride the missiles as I did to get up here before. But if you can stay on him the entire time, you can literally do this battle. This is probably the easiest battle to do without taking damage. Despite the fact that I've easily taken damage. By just not caring. You can also use the throwing anchor to just chuck, chuck it at his head as well. So, yeah, Tinkerbutt, I feel bad for the guy. Because he's a really cool idea. But he is really ridiculously easy. Especially after that stage. That stage is actually kind of difficult. But he is no more. He is now a sad little man. Crafting I don't know what. But that's what he does, I guess. So remember. Only you can prevent forest fires. Let's head back to the town. To deliver our music sheet. Excuse me, burped right there. To deliver our music sheets to the bard. Using the shortcuts. Whee! And if you have music sheets, it'll take you directly to the bard. How nice of it. Whoa! Three music sheets? Magnificent! 500 gold for each! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found a devious. I don't... Machinations? Machinations? I don't know how to pronounce English words, because the English language is very weird, even though it's my native language. Thank you, English. I tried explaining noise... noise channel manipulation at Tinkerbutts. His response? Do your job, Bard. The nerve! And, of course, he can play those now that he has those. But before I do anything else... Let's see. Do I have... I can't... Yeah, yeah I'm done. Let's expand uh, maximum butts. Thank you. Actually, can we do it one more time? We might as well, since we have money. And then we're switching out of this armor. First thing next episode. So let's see the new music songs we have. Do, do, we have the Destroyer, the Schemer. So, of Devious, blah blah blah. A riveting tale of mechanical marauder gearing up for domination. Shorn stature, shorn speech, short on patience, the schemer. And the destroyer, but very large in, in ambition and heavy in firepower. I like this one the best, though. Old Tinker takes his work seriously, so I wanted to keep this thing completely serious. <laughs> Thanks, Bard. Thanks, Bard. So, this is the end of uh, this episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight, The Adventures of Butt Butt. As always, I'm Kirby Bolt, and thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more butt butt action, please consider subscribing. I hope you're all having a great day, and until the next one, ciao.